The Jalisco New Generation Cartel, also known as Cartel de Jalisco Nueva Generación or CJNG, is a Mexican criminal group formerly known as Los Mantazetas and Los Torcidos based in Jalisco. As of 2020, the CJNG is considered the most dangerous criminal organization and the second most powerful drug cartel in Mexico by the country's authorities. The cartel was founded in 2009 when the split of the Millennial Cartel occurred and is also known for cannibalizing some of its victims. The group it broke away from, also known as La Resistencia, accused the CJNG of snitching on Oscar Valencia, popularly known as El Lobo, which earned the CJNG the nickname Los Torcidos translated to the Twisted Ones. These events led to a gang war, in which the Jalisco cartel defeated La Resistencia and gained control of the Millennial Cartel smuggling networks. The cartel once served as the armed wing of El Chapo's Sinaloa cartel. Currently, the cartel is said to have over 100 methamphetamine labs across Mexico. At the helm of this cartel is Nemesio Osoguera Cervantes, also known as El Mencho, the father of Jessica Johanna Osoguera, also known as El Manchita or La Negra. To continue learning the story of Jessica Osaguera, then keep watching until the end of the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button. Now without further ado, let's get started. Jessica was born in San Francisco, which means she has dual citizenship. She also has many aliases, which include El Menchita, which was derived from her father's alias El Mencho, and La Negra. Jessica is the daughter of Rosalinda Gonzalez Valencia, who happened to be the sister of Abigail Gonzalez Valencia, who is a former leader of the Millennial Cartel and Los Queenies. Jessica Gonzalez has two siblings, Ruben Osaguera Gonzalez, also known as El Menchito, whose names will be later mentioned in this video, and Laisha Osaguera Gonzalez. His father, Nemesio Osaguera Gonzalez, also known as El Mencho, is one of the most wanted drug lords in Mexico, and unofficially the number one most wanted man in Chicago. El Mencho is the leader of the CJNG, a vicious gang that has been held responsible for numerous murders and drug traffickings. Her brother, Ruben, was the second in command of the organization. He is currently being held in a prison in the United States of America. Unlike her brother, Jessica wasn't seen on the frontline activities of the drug cartel. In 2020, she was arrested at a U.S. court in Washington when she came to watch her brother Ruben's trial. She is being held in the U.S. without a bond of five counts of being affiliated to businesses that have been blacklisted by the U.S. Treasury Department because those businesses were linked to Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generación. In a statement released by the Office of Public Affairs of the U.S. Department of Justice on the 27th of February 2020, the office claimed that the businesses have been providing material support to the CJNG's narcotics trafficking activities. This was announced by Assistant Attorney General Brian Benchkowski of the Justice Department's Criminal Division and Agent William Bodner of the Los Angeles Field Division of the Drug Enforcement Administration, who happened to be the special agent in charge. The indictment alleged that La Negra continued to engage with the businesses after their designations by the Department of Treasury's Office of Foreign Asset Control. The businesses include JNP Advertising, S.A. de CV, JJ Gon SPR de Arel de CV, Las Flores Cabanas, Mizu Sushi Lounge, and Operadora Los Famosas, S.A. de CV, and Onze Black. The statement was later concluded that the charges contained in the indictment are merely accusations, and the defendant is presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. A few months after the breakout of COVID-19 in the United States, Jessica, who is being held in the country, lied to a court while fighting for a bond due to the threat of the virus. In March 2020, the attorney of La Negra, Stephen J. McCool, filed two motions urging a U.S. district court to release his client on a bond to the home of an aunt so she could escape the possible transmission of COVID-19. The party offered up the aunt's home, which they valued at $500,000, to ensure her return to the court. A week later, the prosecution filed their motion claiming that the aunt's home is just a plot of land in California, where El Menchita was born and the house didn't have an appraised value of $500,000 as Jesse Osaguera and her lawyer claimed. The appraised value of the house is about $109,000 and was previously sold for less than $100,000. The prosecution concluded their argument that La Negra decided to mislead the judge and she is a serious flight risk. On this argument, the judge denied her bond request based on COVID-19. 
The judge, Chief Judge Beryl A. Howell, stated that local jails in the country are taking precautions to prevent the spread of the pandemic within their facilities and the 33-year-old Mexican has no record of a known illness that will make her vulnerable to the virus. He concluded that coronavirus can also be contracted outside the prison. The CJNG made their first appearance in 2009 when the Mexican authorities discovered three bodies and their remains inside an abandoned truck in the Cancun region of Quintana Roo. There was a message at the scene where the bodies were discovered which read, We are the new group Matazetas, or Zeta Killers, and we are against kidnapping and extortion, and we will fight them in all states for a cleaner Mexico. Los Matazetas, Jalisco New Generation Cartel. It was discovered later that the murdered men were linked to the individuals who had been shown in a YouTube video being interviewed by masked armed men. Since then, there have been various videos where captured cartel members confessed their criminal activities and also revealed the names of politicians and law enforcement agents who gave them protection. Two years later, the CJNG made a declaration of war on all other Mexican cartels and stated its intention to take control of the city of Guadalajara. A few weeks after the declaration, the cartel joined hands with El Chapo's group, the Sinaloa Cartel. The Sinaloa Cartel affiliated itself with the Knights Templar, and to eliminate and eradicate the supremacy of Los Zetas in Jalisco, El Chapo joined hands with El Mencho. Two trucks containing 35 dead were discovered at an underpass in Boca del Rio, Veracruz, with a message. No more extortions. No more killings of innocent people. Zetas in the state of Veracruz and politicians helping them, this is going to happen to you, or we can shoot you as we did to you guys before too. People of Veracruz, do not allow yourselves to be extorted. Do not pay for protection. If you do, it is because you want to. This is the only thing these people can do. This is going to happen to all the Zeta fucks who continue to operate in Veracruz. This territory has a new proprietor, Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generacion. Seven days after the bodies were discovered, a video surfaced on the internet showing the CJNG claiming responsibility for the attack. In what seemed to be a revenge operation by the Los Zetas on the 23rd of November 2011, in the early hours of the day, 12 bodies were found inside a burnt vehicle with wood remains on the bodies. The corpses were also handcuffed. Around 7 a.m., the police received several anonymous calls from civilians reporting that a Ford Ranger was on fire around the northern part of Culiacan. Four bodies with bulletproof vests and handcuffs on were recovered from the car. Later that night, another 10 bodies were discovered in several different areas. The Los Zetas claimed responsibility and called the attack a move in which they can attack the heart of the Sinaloa territories. What made other drug cartels respect the CJNG was the incident that happened in August 2016. This event transpired when two wealthy brothers went to a party in an upmarket restaurant in the resort city of Puerto Vallarta. Ivan Arquivaldo Guzman Salazar and Jesus Alfredo Guzman Salazar booked a table at the restaurant to celebrate Ivan's upcoming 36th birthday. They were joined by friends who came in Range Rovers and Escalades. A few hours later, six men burst into the restaurant and surrounded them. One of the gunmen was reported to have forced Ivan down on his knees and kicked him hard in the ribs. Ivan Arquivaldo Guzman Salazar and Jesus Alfredo Guzman Salazar are the sons of the former number one Mexican drug lord and former leader of the most powerful drug cartel, Joaquin Arquivaldo Guzman Salazar, popularly known as El Chapo. The two brothers and other captives were later released after a series of negotiations. The kidnapping happened shortly after El Chapo was arrested and incarcerated. It was a major humiliation for the Sinaloa cartel that happened to be the most powerful drug cartel of all time, and a major win for the CJNG. In 2017, El Mencho ordered the assassination of a high-ranking CJNG member, Carlos Enrique Sanchez, who alias is El Cholo, which failed. This order led to a rift within the high-ranking members. El Cholo and Eric Valencia, whose alias is L85, left the cartel and created a new cartel known as Nueva Plaza Cartel. The Nueva Cartel retaliated because of the failed murder attempt of El Cholo by eliminating the person in charge of CJNG's hit squad, known as El Maro or El Carton. In January 2020, a senior CJNG hit woman, La Catrina, also known as the Dame of Death, died after a shootout with police. In the whole of 2020, the CJNG experienced many setbacks, which include the freezing of $1.1 billion and killings of many of their top leaders. 
The cartel has contacts in the United States of America, Canada, China, and Central America. China actually aids the cartel to control large parts of the drug trafficking network in Mexico. Record has it that the CJNG has threatened the lives of President Andrés Manuel López Obrador, Governor Enrique Alfaro Ramírez of Jalisco, Secretary of Security and Citizen Protection of the Government of Mexico Alfonso Torazo, Santiago Nieto, Head of the Financial Intelligence Unit, and Omar García Harfuk, Secretary of Public Security of Jalisco. During the attack on Omar García Harfuk, two of his bodyguards and a female passerby were killed. Don't forget to like this video and share. And just so you don't miss out on new videos, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. Until next time.